My name is Lochio Susan Apo. I'm a South Sudanese, born in refugee camp. Um, I'm from a family of five, uh, three boys, two girls, including myself. I started my school in Kenya, Angelina Jolie Girls Primary School. I went to secondary school at Burtown Secondary School. I'm Simon Kir, a South Sudanese. I live in Kakuma. I work with LWF as a youth worker. Where we live, you know, people have nothing to do. We sometimes decide to go and do sport activities to keep you busy. So I'm a player at the same time, a coach. I was trained when I was uh, 15 years old. To, to, I mean, that was too sick. Uh, I remember the one who coached me, my coach went back to South Sudan. So too sick was the time I joined basketball. And uh, basketball, I've done, you know, I've helped a lot of, uh, it actually helped the community. I started playing basketball in the year 2004. Uh, while playing basketball at this tender age, I was just doing it for fun. But as time grows and LWF started conducting tournaments with UNHCR, I started knowing that it was something big. There were, there were talents, were, people were making money through their talents. There were individuals selected to go and play for other teams there and earning their money. So I, t I started taking it seriously. I joined a team called Tiger Girls. We are 14. Um, due to challenges, being a mother, I could appear in court uh, maybe twice in a week, or sometimes I could miss due to the challenges that I will look after the kids or do some home chores. Also being a lady, I come from a community that believes that when you're a girl and you've already given birth, your uh, sports is not your part and parcel again. You leave sport for people who are still young and people who have not given birth. My mother is very supportive. She'll advise me and encourage me to continue playing because she understands where basketball has taken me and I'm seeing myself very far with this basketball. Seeing I joined the basketball, actually most of the guys got a sponsorship. Uh, you know, uh, some of them went to high school. As I'm speaking, almost 22 people got a scholarship to Kenya High School, both girls and boys. Especially most of the boys who have been sponsored they were taken to Western, others were taken to Kitali, you know, to study for free. So it helped a lot. I was taken to Busia, Shigalame High School. If it is not because of sport, you know, we would have not, you know, would have not known everyone. But because of sport, we, you know, we have to know everyone, where they live. Sometimes we become friends, we interact. So it's what, you know, it helps people a lot. I went to Goy Girls on Bazari. Uh, that's how basketball has helped me. We are having also host community teams engaging themselves in the tournaments and we are interacting very well. Sometimes even they'll select some of the best players from the camps team and we'll head up to the county level and play tournaments. I'll come back safe and everything is all right. I remember for eight or to seven, there was some insecurity, yeah? But uh, now, I think people are in peace, especially, uh, you know, especially us and refugees who interact. They even came to refugee camp. Some of the refugees used to go to where they live, so there's peace. I know some guys who married to Kana and also South Sudan who married to Kana. And so there's intermarriage, of course. I support that, you know, the intermarriage because uh, in future, you know, the children that, you know, the children that you give birth here can even go back to, you know, to South Sudan to see the country. And uh, they say, you know, they have relatives. Relatives can come and stay here because of intermarriage. So it just, you know, it's really applicable. Through sports, it will help the players understand themselves and understand different cultures, the host community culture and the refugee cultures. And one, once you understand each other cultures, you, hence you respect yourself. And once respect is there, obviously peace will, will, will 
will come out from the respect and we live together. Sometimes people say, these are refugees, these are us. No, you know, we are African. You know, we are African, we are one people. So we need to live in harmony, we need to live in peace.